Hello there everyone. In this video we'll be looking at wireless frequencies and using an acoustometer to measure the strength, the intensity of the radiation coming from wireless devices. We're going to start out with mobile phones and I have here a couple of different mobile phones. The first one being a old style flip phone. We're going to turn the phone on now. And with the phone on we're going to check it out here with this acoustometer. So we have the phone now powered on, and now we're going to power on the acoustometer. And you can see right now that there's very little wireless radiation. The meter is at the very low end in what we'll call the green zone, where you see the green LED light showing that there's essentially a pretty safe level of background radio frequency. Now there's just a spike there. And that's because a message just came in, another message. So that means that phone was transmitting. So when the phone is transmitting, there's a spike, and you see it's in the red zone now. So that's a lot of radio frequency pollution there. And then once it stops receiving the messages, then it goes back. And so now we're back at the green zone. So as you can see, when the phone is not transmitting voice or data, then it's relatively benign. There isn't much radiation coming from it. So we're going to put that phone away. And now we're going to turn on a smartphone. Now the smartphones have a lot more power. And the smartphones are also transmitting a lot of internet data. So let's see how this phone affects the acoustometer. So far things are quiet, but let's see what happens once the 4G, you can see this uses a 4G, 4G stands for 4 gigahertz, and our acoustometer measures frequencies in the range from 200 megahertz to 8 gigahertz. So there we see as soon as it comes on, it starts having these pulses. So we're not even on a phone call, we're not texting, but immediately we get these higher levels of the wireless radiation. And if I were to actually make a phone call, this might actually go all the way up to its peak level. So we're going to call my work phone number and see what happens. So the 
how high the meter is going. So there's a lot of data transfer activity happening with that phone. So as we can see, the mobile phone that has the smartphone features is a much greater hazard than the traditional type of cell phone. So there's our test of these phones and what they're doing with these wireless frequencies. You definitely don't want to have this phone very close up to your body. The closer you are, the stronger this radiation. So if I put the acoustometer right over the phone, it's very intense. If I pull the meter away, Still fairly strong, but not quite as bad. So what we're going to do now, we're going to turn this phone off. We're going to power it off. So now we're powering the phone off. It's going to shut down. And see, right away the acoustometer goes back to its baseline quiet level. So there's no more of those high frequency wireless transmissions once the phone is off. So there you have it. These cellular phones are putting out high levels of this high frequency electromagnetic radiation and it's at levels that are not safe for us to be exposed to.